Welcome to this GIFWorks quick video. My name is Jonathan Lehman. This video is part of a video series in understanding how GIFWorks can be configured to work with QuickBooks. This particular video focuses on posting transactions to QuickBooks. It's an overview of that process and I'll be showing the flow of information between GIFWorks and QuickBooks. I'll explain the posting options and show how customers and journal entries are updated to QuickBooks. Now this is not an overview of accounting principles. Our expectation is, you, is that you would have that knowledge, or if not, that you would consult an accounting advisor. Let's begin by signing into GIFWorks. Prior to what I'm going to show you in this video, our expectation is that you would have gone to the accounting area, and you would have taken the option to configure GIFWorks to work with QuickBooks. If you're not familiar with that and how, how to connect GIFWorks and QuickBooks, we'd recommend you watch that video, which is a separate video as part of this video series. Also prior to this um, video, we expect that you would have an understanding of the transaction register. In this particular example, I've entered a donation and, and a pledge. I'm going to show you how to post those. So it's created transactions in the transaction register. If you don't have an understanding of the transaction register, we would also recommend that you watch that video on understanding the transaction register, another video that's part of this video series. Let's begin. I'm going to go over to the donors area. I'm going to show you a couple donors and their donations, our pledges. Go into Jonathan Lehman. Go to his donations. He has a gift in GiftWorks. Notice it has a, uh, a donation date of 918. And it was to two separate, it's a, it's a split fund gift. It was to the building fund and the technology fund. $350 to the building fund and $150 to the technology fund. And I'll show you Acme. Acme has a pledge. Pledge with three payments, approximately three hundred thirty-three dollars for each. And this one payment was was paid with a um, a date of nine seventeen. I can show you that, and that was to the building fund. One of the things I want to show you, if you go over, the, over to the transaction register in the settings area. You'll notice that these transactions were actually entered on the 22nd. So they're actually, they were actually, the donations and pledges were actually um, entered into GiftWorks on the 22nd of September. But they were actually, the donation date for the first one was the 18th and, for, and the pledge date. The pledge date, donation date for uh, the ACME pledge and pledge payment was on 9-17. So go ahead to get started to, to post transactions. I'm going to go to the settings area. One of the first things that would always be good to do before you post would, do, would be to back up both your GIFWorks database and to back up your Quick, QuickBooks company file. So you can back up your GIFWorks database by going to the settings area, database and maintenance, and clicking on back up your database. Of course, you would, we would recommend you do this to an off-site location. We did this backup. And for backing up your Quick, QuickBooks company file, we recommend that you consult uh, their documentation. Once you've done that backup, Again, in the settings area, under the accounting area, you could either click post donations here, or you could click on accounting, and click on post transactions to QuickBooks or file. When you take that option, you're presented with a, a screen that shows you several things. This bottom section here shows you a history of, of previous posts that you've done. It shows you the date range that you entered, how many transactions were included, it gives you um, so, some information about the, the type of options that you took, the summary options, which I'll be showing uh, what that means when we actually do a post, and, and who did the post and when it was done. So it gives you a little bit of a history there. And uh, you actually would have the option, um, if you need to repost any of those, you can actually do that by clicking on one and saving the previous post. In this case, we're going to do a new post. We're going to put in the date of 922nd. Like that, right? And we're going to click post. You're presented with a dialog that gives you some options. I'm going to explain those options. You have two main sections. You have transactions, op transaction options, and summary options. The transaction options basically are asking you to specify what types of transactions you want to include. So are you basically, is your accounting done on a accrual basis where you include donations and pledges? Or is it done on a cash basis where you're only... Um, or would be posting donations. Accrual basis, when you're including pledges, would mean that you would include expected pledge payments. So you would realize the income in your QuickBooks accounting uh, when the person makes the pledge. 
cash basis, you would only post those once you actually receive the money. So you can see if I click accrual basis and click next, you would see here that for Jonathan Lehman, you can see the transactions that includes the, that one gift that had the, the split fund gift, and it also includes the the um, pledge for ACME and includes the uh, the expected payments here and also the uh, received one. So here's the receivable, pledge receivable account. If I would go back and I would change that to cash option, I'll reset the list and you'll see I have, a, I have the, the gift for Jonathan Lehman, but I also have just the received payment for ACME not the uh, expected pledge payments. So that's the difference with the first option. This, under the summary options, you have two primary methods. You can either post transaction detail, or you can post summary information for each account. And you have some, some, some options within each of those. When you post transaction detail, basically what you're, what you're, um, pick, what you're choosing is that you, it's important to you uh, that to get um, individual detail of those transactions. It gives you a better way of tracking down um, and, and seeing within QuickBooks the, the journal entries that it creates and seeing them actually as they uh, relate back to donations or pledges or pledge payments within GiftWorks. It actually also would take the donors that are being posted, uh, that are part of the transactions that are being posted, and it would actually um, add or update customers in QuickBooks. So you would want to take that option if, you're cons if you are interested in that individual information. Post summary information, you would use that option. Um, if you're primarily interested in just making sure that the account balances are updated correctly within QuickBooks, you're not really concerned about um, tracking individual customers within QuickBooks, at least not um, from posting from GiftWorks, and you're also not that concerned about being able to track back individual uh, journal entries to donations or pledges within GiftWorks. So also within each of these options, you have uh, the option to post by transaction date or donation or pledge date. The transaction date is the date that the transactions were entered within GiftWorks. The donation or pledge date is the, if it's a donation, would be the donation date, and obviously if it's a pledge, it uh, would be the pledge date. So it's, it's whether or not you want to post in, the date on the journal entry should be the transaction date or the donation or pledge date. And you have those options within the summary option also. You have different choices for summarizing. You can summarize all the transactions to the current date, so when apply there. But if you're if you're summarizing them all by the tran by um, date, you can either choose the transaction date or the donation or pledge date. Or if you're summarizing them all by month, you can summarize them by the transaction month or the donation or pledge month. And we'll go into more detail about how that summary option works with an example. I'm going to start by doing a simple. You know, most I think a lot of our customers would use the accrual basis and simply post by transaction date. Whatever choices you make here would be the choices that will default from this point forward. Our recommendation is that you would sort of, that you would pick a method for posting and that you would stick with that method. Is that, that's why we default those options going forward. So let's take this option. I'll reset the transaction list. You can see the transactions here. When I click next, it's actually going to, several things that the post process goes through. It will validate the accounts and the classes that are, that are part of they're part of these transactions to make sure they all are still valid within GiveWorks and the existing QuickBooks. It will then try to post the donors, either adding or updating them to QuickBooks. It'll try to match to existing customers in QuickBooks if it can. There's another video explaining that in more detail. And then it will actually post these transactions as journal entries. And individual and, and gift journal entries, uh, gift transactions are actually summarized per gift as a journal entry. So I will click Next. And I have a choice of QuickBooks or CSV file. I'm going to pick QuickBooks. And I'll click Next. It's going to connect to QuickBooks, validating the accounts and classes, posting the donors, posting the transactions. And just like that, it's done. And if you can see, if we go over to, uh, to QuickBooks, you'll see that I have an Acme Inc. and I have a Jonathan Lehman within Jonathan Lehman. I have the journal entry. Which shows that split fund gift. And if you go into ACME, you can see you have the journal entries that reflect all the pledge receivable activity, the reversal of that, and then the actual received payment for that one gift. And you can see here that it also shows me a, a, a record of the, of the post that I just did, which, which was seven transactions. It was detailed by transaction date. So I'm going to take these same transactions, um, and I brought up the dialog, and I'm actually post the same transactions in, in summary fashion. So I'm going to choose post the summary information. I'm going to summarize them all by the current date. And basically, it's going to not post the individual donors, so it's going to post them to a generic donor called GiftWorks. 
and it's going to summarize all those accounts and all the amounts for those for those transactions into one journal entry. So you can see I click next, I get the same set of transactions, I select them, I pick QuickBooks, go through and I post, finish, and you see the difference is this case, I posted them all under it, uh, an account or a customer called Giftworks, and I have one journal entry that summarizes everything. So you can see it has summarized all those accounts and the amounts into one journal entry. You can see also that it, give, it gives us a, um, a record of that, of, of that post and the, and the choices that we made. We hope this video has been helpful there, um, in understanding how transactions are posted. And we recommend that you watch the other videos as part of this video series.